Good day everyone, in today's video Samsung Galaxy S24 after a couple of days of usage with a very bright screen. It feels very nice in the hand because it's small but it's not anti-reflective, only ultra. Fingerprint sensor, instant. Wow. Let me swipe it, look at that beautiful wallpaper. That is beautiful. By the way, wallpapers, how quick can we... I know it's a little things, but those little things sometimes are AI generated. Like this one. AI generated wallpaper. Well, maybe a little bit of colors. Let's generate, I agree. And it's generating an AI picture for you. One of a kind. AI wallpaper. There you go. Wow. Next look. That looks nice. Okay, next. Done. And there you go. You have personal AI generated wallpaper, which is looking rather nice. The screen itself, it's a flat screen. But like you can see, sometimes we can see that it is struggling with 120. Why it's struggling? Why it's jittering sometimes with the Google? So like you can see, there is no... There is no 120 fixed option. Only a standard or adaptive. It means that it will adapt to a, to a particular scenario. And when it's adapting, it's getting a bit jittery. The screen itself, it's cool. It's not extremely vivid. It's natural and, and vivid. You can put it warmer or cooler or play around with the RGB itself. Adaptive color tone, if you wanted to. The smartphone is the AI monster. What does that mean? It means when we find ourselves a picture, generate an AI, click on AI. For example, if we circle around the red one, all right, and we want to put it somewhere else, so make it bigger, smaller. Maybe let's do it, let's put it smaller, smaller one. Generate. It should be smaller. Oh, wow. Well, that is uh, impressive. <laughs> one of them is smaller. You see? It is impressive. Okay, discharge. You can do it again. But this time, let's circle around it. Or maybe not Not this one. Okay, uh, leave. Let's do it again. And let's take a middle one. See, I, I wasn't accurate. You know, like, drawing around it. Still catch up nicely. Hold it. And delete it. Scenario. And it's gone. Just like that. It is gone. Wow. Even the reflective reflection is gone. There's a little bit because at the back that's a that's a mirror reflection. Even the mirror reflection is gone. Amazing. See? That is cool. Really cool. What else do we have? I mean we can tilt whatever position we want, your photo. You can add the brightness and all kinds of stuff. But let's stick with the AI. And AI could also translate. Let me speak something in Polish, because I'm from Poland, and we'll transcribe to English. Dzień dobry panu. Co tam u pana słychać? Czy kupił pan już w promocji te ulubione buty, o których marzył pan i opowiadał mi pan o nich codziennie, 10 godzin dziennie? And save it. And now transcribe from Polish. We'll see the accuracy. Dzień dobry, co pana słychać? Czy kupił pan już promocję te ulubione buty, w których marzył pan i opowiadał pan o nich codziennie? 99% accuracy. The very top is a little bit mis misleading, but 99%. Okay, we can translate to English instantly. But there's something better. Voice call translation. And it's live, instant translation, which is really cool. And on the other end, it doesn't have to be a flagship smartphone like uh, S24 or any other flagship. Any smartphone will do. Hello? Hello? Hello, good morning. Czy pamiętasz, że pożyczałeś ode mnie pieniądze i to była dość spora kwota pieniędzy, kiedy mi ją oddasz? Chciałbym umówić się z tobą w kawiarni na ulicy Krakowskiej i tam dogadamy wszystko, by dobrze wszystko się skończyło. So you remember that you borrowed money from me and it was quite a lot of money when you give it to me. I would like to make an appointment with you in a cafe on Krakowska Street and we will get along there. Everything would end well. 
It is amazing. 95% accuracy. It, it could be a deal breaker. Else can we do? For example, we do have a picture. Hold the bottom button. Circle around. And you will have exactly what it is. Where can you buy it? Same with the text. Circle around it. And it can translate whatever your language you want. You can choose the language. It's Google Translation on the fly. Very easy. You don't have to go to the Google Translation and then, then uh, copy and paste. It, it's, it's instant. And what's even cooler? The power we have in this smartphone. And we do have tons of power. This is Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. 2,000 for the single core, 6,369 for the multi-core. What does that mean? It means that your device is faster than Galaxy S23 Ultra and in the multi, significantly faster. But Xiaomi 14 has a little bit more, like 6,066. So there you go. I also have other benchmarks, like a Tutu, but for, but for some reason, it didn't came out like it's supposed to be. Okay, that's... It, can, it cannot go through all the benchmarks. I don't know. Maybe it's a firmware thing. But uh, storage test. Well, and uh, the score is one of the biggest I've seen. It's bigger than on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which is a surprise. Mm, especially random access. 1,628 and 1,222. What does that mean? It means that you can multitask freely. For example, if you're gaming and recording at the same time, your, your gameplay... There'll be, there should be no issue with such a huge speed. Usually, uh, flagship smartphones are like 1,300 to 800, and this is like almost twice, which means incredible. UFS 4.0 uh, memory. But that sort of power doesn't mean anything. If you cannot use it, then gaming. And in the games, we do have a game mode, just like that. We can record your game, stream, watch YouTube at the background, or all kinds of stuff. All kinds. Okay, let's try multiplier. Let me turn up an audio a little bit. Maximum settings all the way. It looks smooth, extremely smooth. Got him. Okay, playing behind the camera is <laughs> It's quite difficult, but, well, it looks nice. It looks very nice. There's no glitches. Wow. Killing it. Smooth gaming. Headshot. Behind me, behind me. There's someone behind me. Headshot. Oh, they got me. They got me. Remember that I was playing with the cover. How much heat are we going to have with the Exynos? 36, that's very reasonable, 36 degrees Celsius and the same score for the benchmark like in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, so this is, uh, this is amazing, one process, 10 cores, this is an amazing performing chip. Camera, in the camera department, portrait mode, you can see it is tracking my face nicely, photo, we can do a wider angle or closer look. Video, 4K 60, that's for the front facing camera, for a smooth experience and more. But if we go back to the main lens, and we need something for the, for the subject. Let me, let me zoom a little bit, let's zoom a tiny bit. Okay, we don't have that analog battery. Wide angle lens, there is no autofocus in wide angle, so the picture and video will be blurry in wide angle. But if we switch to the main lens, then it will be in focus and okay, and just you, you cannot go too close for it. And then in telephoto, of course, you can shoot macro, bam, and it's great. You can switch to 50 megapixels, and also it's very usable, bam, bam. it's very quick. We have a little bit of crop. No, we don't have a crop, so it's great. In the video department, similar like in a photo, if you go too close, there will be no autofocus in wide angle. I mean, there is no autofocus in wide angle lens, so it doesn't matter. In the main lens, of course, it is, and it is 
semi-quick telephoto. So you can all go all the way to 8K if you wanted to, but 8K has a little bit of crop. Let me just go to 4K 30. See, we're on the edge of the screen with that, with that battery. And if we hit 60, do we have a little bit of crop? So we don't have a crop for 60, 30 to 60, there's no crop, but for the 8K, we do have a little bit of crop. It's like 5%. Okay, in more department, there's a pro video for you. And uh, in here, compared to the ultra version, there is no 4K 120. Full HD 120, that's, that's the difference. In the pro video, there's also a pro photo which can sh shoot 50 megapixel pictures and do all kinds of stuff with it. Also a portrait video, and in the portrait video, let me just go to the front-facing camera. You can play around with, oh, wow, 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 portrait video, wait, portrait video. Come on, Pete. And in the portrait video, you can play around with the blur effect. If you can see, blurring the image. Okay, it's getting crazy because I have a microphone in front of me. So, uh, okay, is this camera straight at all? It's getting a little bit of a little bit of craziness. There's a slider, so I can be in color and everything is black and white. All right, also for the back. We have dual recording, raw expert, and stuff like that. Dual recording is great for vlogging, but only 4K 30 frames per second. Also, we can switch just like that, just like that. And you can even record from all the cameras at the same time when you're uh, streaming your screen. You can choose two of them and just, yeah, yep, exactly, just like that. All right, well, let me show you some samples, photo and video. It is a bit windy. This one can record all the way to 8K, 30 frames per second. We're in a 4K, 30, because in 4K, 30, you can switch lenses to the recording, which is not available in 60. Let me make a little bit of zoom for you. A very nice zoom, I say. Very nice zoom. Well, also there is no autofocus in wide-angle lens. So if you want to do macro with wide-angle, uh, it's going to be blurry. For example, see, it's out of focus. And front facing camera also. Not bad. With the sound, of course, we have Dolby Atmos, Dolby Atmos for gaming, adaptive sound, equalizer, all kinds of settings. Battery life, it's hard to say because I'm using those smartphones very different than any normal user. So uh, it's really hard to say. It all depends. This time I have like f almost three hours on the screen, but I'm, look, at, look, let's like a lot of Erium webcam, the regular webcam, benchmarks. So what did we learn? And we learned that this smartphone is small. It feels very nice in the hand, in the pocket, exiting the pocket, camera, bam. And making photos is so easy and 
quick. Latest Exynos for Europe, well, same numbers in the benchmark, same temperature, maybe even colder, 36 degrees Celsius, it's very, very nice. But in this price range, there's a many smartphones to choose. For example, same price, Oppo Find X7 Ultra, will definitely need a better camera, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Well, it's uh, technical, it's way better. It's the biggest smartphone, but there's also a discount for Xiaomi 14 Pro, similar price to Galaxy S24. 14 Pro with a 1.4 lens, which is a uh, wow. Technically, Xiaomi 14 Pro, it's uh, way ahead on that S24 in the cameras. <sighs> Link in the description for you. There's no additional cost, so uh, free sh I'm not sure about free shipping. I will give you a discount code in, in, in the description, so you basically have a free shipping. No additional cost, worldwide shipping. Thanks for watching and see you next video. Bye.